Hi everybody and welcome to the Boxes Upon Boxes Summer 2024 Party Speaker Roundup. Today I will be revisiting six of the best mid-priced party speakers I have reviewed on this channel. What do I mean by a party speaker? Well, basically something bigger than a personal speaker, but still portable enough to bring to a party. If you happen to own one of the speakers that I'm covering today and I talk better about some other speaker, don't worry about it. All of the speakers on this review are an excellent choice. You have made a good selection. It's just that there's something about another speaker that I might like a little bit better, but that doesn't make yours bad. They're all good. One more thing before we jump into the roundup. All of the speakers we're talking about today are either water resistant or waterproof. What's the difference? If it's water resistant, you can take it poolside. You can get caught in a summer rain, things like that. If it's waterproof, you can take this canoeing and some jerk can dump over your canoe. It can be submerged under the water and it'll still work just fine. Kicking off our roundup, we have the Zealot S97. This is a nice party speaker with 90 watts of power and a 30 hour battery. Kicking off our roundup is the water resistant Zealot S97. This makes a great party speaker with its 90 watts of power and 30 hour battery life. It has all the connectivity options you want, including three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, TF card slot, USB memory stick slot, and a dedicated USB-C power bank slot. I don't think I've seen that in any other speaker. The S97 is a hefty 7.3 pounds. It sounds great. And with the 16,000 milliamp hour battery and the dedicated power bank port, I am giving this the best power bank award. This is the Soundcore Boom 2. At 3.65 pounds, it is the lightest speaker in the roundup, and it's waterproof. This has no other connectivity options, so you're stuck with Bluetooth, but it sounds amazing. I love the easy to grip grooved handle and the 24 hour battery life. This is the only speaker in the roundup that supports the PartyCast 100 system. That's kind of like TWS mode, except you can send the same signal to 100 compatible devices. And now that's a party. This is also the only speaker in the lineup that has app support. With the app, you can choose from some very sophisticated RGB lighting effects and a massive multi-band equalizer. Not only does the Soundcore Boom 2 sound fantastic, but I'm giving it the award for the best equalizer, the best RGB lighting effects, the best lightweight speaker overall. This is a fantastic choice. This is the iHome IBT920. With 14 hours of battery life, it's actually the shortest battery life in the roundup, but 14 hours is still pretty good. The IBT920 has all of the connectivity options you're likely to need, including a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, the USB memory stick slot, TF card slot, and a microphone input for karaoke. One of the reasons why I like the IBT920 are the clearly labeled and large control buttons. This speaker weighs in at 5.7 pounds and has karaoke features that rival my dedicated karaoke machine. It's also the only speaker in the lineup that has a remote control. The iHome sounds great. It is cheaper than some of the other speakers in this roundup, and I'm giving it the award for the most fun, mostly because of the karaoke features. This is the Youngwolg LFS Soundstorm. At 100 watts and a 30 hour battery, this is the best sounding waterproof speaker in this lineup. It does not have a TF card slot or a USB memory stick slot. It does have a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input and you can use this as a power bank. When the music is playing, these bars are bouncing and the speakers are throbbing. This has the second best RGB light display in the lineup. The LFS Soundstorm is one of the most expensive speakers in this roundup. When you hear it, you'll know why. I am giving this speaker the award for the best waterproof sound. 
The KMAG HB1 might be considered to be the second most portable speaker at only 4.17 pounds. This has a 20 hour battery and 60 watts of power. It doesn't support TF cards, but it will support USB memory sticks and three and a half millimeter auxiliary input. The bass is extremely tight on the HB1 and the treble sounds good too. I don't know what makes the band heart such a challenge for Bluetooth speakers, but they sound fine on this one. The KMAG HB1 is the least expensive speaker in this lineup by far. I am giving this the best bargain award. If you don't have much money, grab this speaker. You will not be sorry. And it's waterproof. The Ortizen M10 is the big daddy in the lineup. This is eight pounds of power. The M10 has 100 watts of power and an 18,000 milliamp hour battery. That's the biggest battery I've seen in any Bluetooth speaker. The M10 has all the connectivity options you are likely to need, including a three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, USB memory stick slot, the TF card slot, and a microphone for karaoke. The M10 is one of the earliest speakers I reviewed, and it did kind of ruin me for life. Look at all these dedicated buttons. You won't find any single press, long press, short press, triple press, double press here. Just the buttons that do exactly what they say they'll do. The Ortizen M10 is a power hungry beast. They claim you'll get 24 hours of battery out of this, but I don't think so. Not when you're playing it loud and you'll want to play it loud. In fact, I am giving this the award for the best sounding speaker overall. It's not waterproof, but it does sound fantastic. If you've made it this far, you might be asking yourself, hey, why isn't the Bose SoundLink Max in the roundup? Isn't that a party speaker for 2024? Well, yeah, kinda, but this speaker is three times the cost of the most expensive speaker in the roundup. Do you really think that's a fair comparison? This speaker sounds better than anything else in the roundup, by far, by far. But at a party, its capabilities would really be wasted. Sure, it's going to sound fine, but you're not going to hear the difference unless you are in the sweet spot. Can you bring the Bose SoundLink Max to a party? Sure, absolutely, go for it. But you can spend a lot less money and still have a good time. That's it. That is the summer party speaker roundup for 2024. I hope you found it useful or entertaining or at least worth your time. Thanks for stopping by.